Got the HCC Inspire 4G. This is a phone that many of us have been waiting on for a very, very long time. So I'm going to cut the chatter and we'll get right to the unboxing. Open it up and there's a quick start manual. Let's move that out of the way. And here's the actual device. You can see it's got that beautiful, vibrant 4.3 inch display. Let's move, let's put that aside for a second. Let's see what else is inside. You also get a battery. The battery is, let's see, 1230. So 1230 milliamps. That's a fairly large battery. Let's put that aside. You also get a micro USB charge and sync cable and a wall charger. All right. So let's put the battery in and let's boot it up. The battery cover is right over here and it's a little difficult to get off. You can't tell, but I had to fight with that to get it off. Let's pop the battery in. And let's turn it on. All right, it's booting up. And while it boots up, we will go over the phone's specs. The Inspire comes with Android 2.2 with HCC Sense. It's got a beautiful 4.3 inch Super LCD touchscreen. It has it runs on AT&T's 4G HSPA Plus network. It's got a built-in mobile hotspot, so it can surf as a so it can serve as a wireless router for up to five devices. It comes with all the usual sensors: digital compass, um, gyroscope, proximity sensor, light sensor, GPS. It's got an eight megapixel camera with two LED flashes, but it does not have a front-facing camera. Um, it also comes with a 1 gigahertz processor, 786 megabytes of RAM. It has 4 gigs of internal storage, but only 1.5 gigs are available, so it comes packed in with an 8 gigabyte micro SD card. Um, Alright, we've done talk about specs, let's play around with it. Let's unlock it, and you can see it's pretty standard HTC Sense that we've all come to know and love, except it's on AT&T, and this is something that a lot of us, a lot of us, have been waiting for. In the past, AT&T was really hesitant to really embrace Android, probably because of their iPhone exclusivity. But now that that's over, now that, the, now that Verizon has the iPhone, they're going gung-ho, and the Inspire 4G is the result of it. Um, one thing to know about this phone is that it is almost a dead ringer for the international HTC Desire HD which we've got right here, and you can take a look. Let's hold these both on, on camera for you guys, and you can see they are exactly the same phone. It's, 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 it's exactly the same. The only, the only difference is the HTC logo on the Desire HD has been swapped out with an AT&T logo for the Inspire, and there's no HTC Sense logo on the Inspire, but other than that, they are exactly the same. They're not, they're not kissing cousins, they are the same phone. Let's boot up the, inspo the, the desire, and you can see the time, and it's HCC Sense. Now, we don't have a SIM card in the Desire HD, so we can't do a browser showdown, but I can tell you off the bat that the, they do run similar for versions of HTC Sense. This runs the newer version of Sense that was not included on the HTC Evo Shift. So I'm very happy to say to tell you that that was included. Okay, so now we'll load up a website just to show you what the browser is like on this phone. And we'll pull up HTCpedia, of course. right away and this is going over AT&T's 4G network. You can see it, it, it loaded pretty fast. It's almost done, almost done, and it is almost done and it's finished. So I mean is it Wi-Fi? No, but it's it's pretty fast. Those of you who are on who are on AT&T, you're gonna be pretty happy with this. Okay, so that's been our 
unboxing and first look at the HCC Inspire 4G. We will have a lot more on this phone culminating with the full review at the end of the week. Keep it here at hccpd.com. Take it.